Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean, that's Jill, and today in the news, we're gonna tell you how to track your Bronco. <laughs> Hit it. No, I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Oh boy. Anyways, <laughs> um, so again, like we were just talking about, we are gonna tell you some information on how to track your Bronco, make it a little more of a game, hopefully less frustrating than just wait and find out nothing until all of a sudden it pops up in the dealership, like most of them do. Or you get a phone call, hey, your car just showed up, huh? <laughs> yeah, so when we talk about tracking the vehicle, we do not mean Ford's tracking system, that's crap. I'll just tell you that right now, that is absolute the shittiest tracking system I've ever seen because all it is is pending, you know, it, it's, I mean, what is it? I mean, oh, uh, order confirmed, Yeah. in yeah. production, yeah. shipped, it doesn't tell you anything and it could be in production for, ever. as ours, our Black like Diamonds was four <laughs> months, uh, it was four months because it was waiting a chip. So it doesn't tell you anything other than that. Now what we are talking about, what we are talking about is from shipping to delivery to your dealership. Yeah. Now first, let me state, do not, whatever numbers you get or whatever, do not call the people themselves, call and use only the automated systems. I don't wanna piss off the people that are doing a damn good job getting your Broncos to wherever they need to be. Uh, they will get pretty aggravated if all of a sudden they get a whole slew of calls about, yep. hey, where's my Bronco at? And your Bronco just got shipped the day before. That's technically not part of their job. No, it's okay? not. Now, we will tell you a story for us, how we were able to get information on it, and we did call them, but there were certain circumstances you, you can call them and you should call them, not the day it ships and say, no. hey, when's it gonna be there? Just be patient, you've waited long enough already. What's it, a few more days? <laughs> yeah, what's a few more days or a few more weeks uh, to do that. Now, the first thing, when you do the rail system, obviously there's two ways for your Bronco to be delivered, whether it be rail or truck. Now, if you go by rail, they do not... Uh, they don't go by VIN number. They go by what the train container number is. And that's usually like, what, a seven to nine digit number? Or yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. Number I, of letters mixed in. Yeah, it's like three letters and then four to six numbers after yeah. it. Yeah. So what that is, is that's the way for the train company to track only the cars, the rail cars. Yeah. They don't know what's inside these cars. They don't care about the cargo. They just want the container. and. They can tell you whether or not the container had reached its destination hub. Like ours reached Miami and it sat for a while. Yeah. So before she goes on with that, again, we'll tell that story at the end. Uh, just like FedEx or, or UPS or USPS, yeah, the they number. only track by the number. They don't know what's in it. For all they know, it's a Box you know, a box of crayons <laughs> or a million dollar diamond ring. They don't care, they just know the tracking number. That's what they go by. It's not until it goes to the trucking do they track by VIN number, and we'll yeah. get that to that in a second. Now for the, the rail, the only way to track it is, like she said, by the container number. Most of the time, you don't get the container number. No. The dealership has the container number, but they don't have to give it to you. No, they don't, they don't. So uh, if you're really nice and have a good rapport with your dealership, like we do, yeah. um, they were kind enough to give us the container number for the Badlands. Yeah. Uh, at that point, you can call whatever rail system it is, whether it's CSX or I can't even know how many different rail systems there are, companies there are, but you can call their automated phone system and everyone has one. You can contact that, type in or, or enter in your uh, the, container number yeah. and it will show you where it's at and where the end location is, I believe, and all this other stuff. Now that's what we did at the very beginning. We were trying to find out information and uh, we will get into how we found <laughs> out later. So I don't want to get into it. It's just another big story for right now. 
Now, after it gets delivered to wherever the hub is, ours happen to be Miami, they unload that. Now at that point, it goes to a different system. It goes yeah. to the trucking system. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said before, there's two ways to deliver your vehicle straight from the dealer or straight from the manufacturer, rail and trucking. If you go by the trucking system, well, you can just go straight to that and you can find out what's going on with it. Yeah. Uh, at that point, it does go by VIN number. Yep. They, they do have a way, and I will tell you this right now, is really simple. Do not contact the people. Again, there is a real simple way, and it's it's almost a fun way for me to figure out oh, the vehicles. Enjoy I was it. enjoying it. I you was actually fun enjoying with it. The... Now, there is a. I don't know if it's the rail system that uses across the uh, across the United States. I don't know if there's different rail systems or sorry trucking systems. Uh, this one was a United Road. That's the one I used to find out my vehicle, there is multiple, uh, it's... Um, it really depends on who well, Ford has contracts with in that area. On this side of the US, I do believe it's just United Road, but there are several different carriers like Allied Trucking and stuff like that. And it just depends on where you're at in the US and who they're under contract with. Yeah, so this one is for United Road. Again, you can check on United Road if your number doesn't show up especially if it's shipped, it's probably using a different trucking company. Now, what you need to do is first, you cannot use a computer. You have to use a, a cell phone, a smartphone to be able to get it. If you're one of those guys with a flip touch phone you're or screwed. whatever, you're screwed. You're not gonna be able to get into it. So you're gonna have to have a smartphone. Um, find a buddy that has one or welcome to the 21st century and go buy one. I don't even know if they have any available. I don't even know if they have flip phones anymore. Yes, they do. God help you guys have one. Anyways, uh, smartphone. Um, what you need to do is type in unitedroad.com. I'll leave the link down below. And also, I'll put pictures in the front to show what you need to look for. Now, when you go there, you have to look for delivery receipts. It's Again, I'll mark where it's at. And once you click that, it requests you to put in a VIN number. The entire thing. And what you can do is you can actually copy and paste from your whatever Ford sent you for yep. shipping with the VIN number on it. Copy that, put it in there, and then... I recommend that way. That way you don't yeah, have any that errors. that way you don't have errors. Uh, also, make sure there's no spaces in the front or in the back. Make sure it's just that. No extra digits or spaces. Also, you have to pick, I'm not a robot. If you are a robot, go ahead and lie and pick, I'm not a robot anyway. You're so you're, you're not going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to get it if you're a robot. But go ahead and pick, I'm a robot, or I'm not a robot, I mean, and then click register or uh, enter. Now, at that point, it'll tell you some information. It'll also tell you the uh, dealership is going to. That right there will tell you if you're screwed, whether it's going to a dealership in California or it's going to your dealership, say for instance in Florida, you know, you're, you're, yeah. you're gonna find out right real quick where it's going to. Also underneath that, it'll say a register email and they'll have register. That doesn't show up on the regular computer. It no. only shows up on the smartphone. Phone. For whatever reason, I don't know. It I Just took a me a while to figure out. Web pages. Yeah, he had to get help to do that. Yeah, I had to figure it out through somebody else's help, and I'm passing on to you guys. Uh, at that point, it'll ask you for your first name, last name, and email address. Then it'll say subscribe and then register. At this point you can actually do it on a daily basis. You go into O-V-I-S-S -S login for when you go into the next time. And that will actually show you what vehicles are being delivered to your dealership. Uh, if your vehicle's not on there, there is a search button on the top portion that shows you uh, pending and then uh, delivered and then search. Yeah. Now, the one that says search, you can type in your VIN number and it'll show whether it be inactive, whether it's not been unloaded yet. It will show pending pickup, pending. Yeah, pending which pickup. means it's been delivered and it's waiting uh, pickup from the hub to go to your dealership. Yeah. What so. gets fun is when it goes in route. 
<laughs> so I'll show you the, the button right here when it shows in route, click that button. It says, it says tracking and it is literally one of the best tracking I've ever seen in any system ever because it shows a GPS locator on the truck that is delivering your vehicle and it is um, just absolutely accurate. It is almost almost to the foot. And I'll, I'll tell you why in just a second. I'll tell you two little tidbits on that one. So at that point, you can track where that vehicle's going. Now, if it's going a different route, say for instance, your hub is here and uh, your dealership's here. If it goes this way or goes this way or goes this way or whatever, it doesn't mean it's not going to the right place. They don't have all the vehicles to your dealership unless you're a huge dealership on one vehicle. In fact, her Badlands was the only one going to that dealership. Uh, my Black Diamond was only two of going to that dealership and it had a full of cars. Uh, it has multiple places. Be patient. It will start going to your area. Yeah. And it's, like I said, it's pretty accurate. Um, Think of it as a giant FedEx thing. You're not the only one. <laughs> There's yeah. multiple stops along the way. <laughs> yeah. And at that point, you know, you're getting your Bronco pretty quick. Uh, at that point, it's going to be delivered. Yeah. Uh, after that, it'll show delivered, and you'll actually get a receipt with your VIN number and the whoever delivery signatures it. for the driver yeah. and whoever took it at the dealership. Yeah, and you can see that on there. Now, if there's no signature, don't freak out. Sometimes the dealerships are closed and they have to unload the vehicle, so they just drop them in a night drop and shove the paperwork through there and leave. Yeah. So I had to deal with that a lot. <laughs> when we dealt with ours, uh, her Badlands especially, uh, we contacted, or we were watching the, the rail truck or the rail car and we found out the real the container was actually going back up north. Yeah, that's when we contacted it. That's when I knew something was wrong. A forty-five day wait because it was sitting in a train car for forty-five days, and we're like, "What the hell's going on?" Yeah, that's when I found something was wrong, and that's when I found out. Okay, we need to contact somebody. That's the only reason I contacted them, or else my vehicle would be sitting in Michigan, probably still trying to figure out why there's no bill of lading and that's why they're sending it back uh they don't know where who sent it other than where it came from at that point yeah. it goes up there and then they deal with it miami hub doesn't deal with any of that uh, neither does any other hub yeah. they send it back from the place that delivered it or you know kind of return to sender type thing yeah it's just think of it as a, little, as a giant mailing system so if the paperwork is inactive or the address is inactive or wrong or missing, they're just going to be like, we don't know why it's here. Ship it back where it came from. Yeah, return to sender type thing. It. Now, at that point, we contacted them, and the lady was real nice to tell us what we had. And I, I, totally, I totally informed her that I'm not the dealership. I'm just a customer trying to find out what's going on with my vehicle. Uh, I see the vehicles going back up north, and I wonder why that dealer, you know, there's a bunch of vehicles going to dealerships down in the southern Florida area, Miami area. And, you know, she ended up doing me a favor, she didn't have to, and contacted Ford to get a new bill of lading and shipped it back. Absolutely yeah. wonderful lady. She contacted me later on and, and you know, told, yeah, hey, the vehicle's it in back. Uh, told it's on its way back and it should be delivered on whatever day, and they're going to unload it the very next day and actually she contacted me saying they unloaded it and you know it it's in the other system now again with the other system the united truck for the tracking thing like i stated it is accurate we actually watched the vehicle on the tracking from here <laughs> showing it as we as it went through i updated it every once in a while as it turned the corner for our road to for be delivered, lands. yeah, for the Badlands to be delivered for the dealership, we saw that truck come through. Yeah, we were already parked and we were getting our stuff together and it was on the main road, it was turning the corner and I'm just like, I see it. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's kind of a nice thing to see your vehicle come in. Again, Especially if you have one the- Especially you've been waiting 588 days for. If you have the opportunity to, uh, 
to see that, it actually is a pretty neat deal. Yeah. Uh, get some pictures. And if this helps Talk you, to the driver. you know, <laughs> if this helps you, you know, please like, share with other people that are maybe waiting or wondering how they're going to do it. Now, with our Black Diamond, um, we weren't doing the same thing as what we did with the Badlands where we were like waiting at the dealership for it to come through. He was at work and he was checking it on his phone religiously. Like every 30 minutes I was getting updates. Hey, it's moving. Hey, it's here. Hey, it's here. Yeah, Between every- him and my dealership, I was getting bombarded with text messages and phone calls. And as it got closer, as it got onto the main road, he called me up. He's like, you need to go over there if you want to you know, see, you know, inspect it and make sure it's okay because it's a black car and black shows everything. And he told me where it was. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go head up on there now. And I, as soon as I got there, they unloaded it off the truck and I got to inspect it before anybody else did. Yeah. Um, and with that, while our black, or while our uh, Badlands took forever to get delivered, our black time was actually only like two weeks. Yeah. It was only like two weeks, and then once it got to, uh, once it got to, pending pickup, <laughs> it was literally pretty quick on getting it uh, pending pickup to, or uh, to in route so yeah. when they actually put it on a truck. So again, you know, I hope you guys like this. Please share with everybody who is looking for a Bronco. I'll put all the links down below. I'll put pictures over everything. I hope it's helpful and shows you exactly what to do. Before you go and and look at it, do understand there are multiple different delivery systems out there. United Road isn't the only one. If it doesn't show up there, it probably is on a other one it's just the one that we were able to use and i've been able to look at a bunch of other people's broncos being delivered and help them out uh, later on again the only reason i wanted to keep this secret and keep it kind of uh uh quiet quiet because there's a lot of people out there if my vin number or my dealership showed up there's a lot of people out there who would do whatever they could to try to either take possession of that or, you know, contact a dealership or, or try to do something fishy with the VIN number. I've already heard other people with parts, uh, just as bad, uh, parts. They ordered a bunch of parts. They had it in the forums. They put what they ordered. They put where they ordered, which I believe is actually totally not right. Uh, I would never do that. Uh, but somebody else went in there the day it was delivered because she stated, hey, my parts are here. I can't wait to pick them up. I can't pick them up till the weekend, but I can't wait to be able to put them on. Somebody was able to go in there, get those parts, pay for them, and leave before she actually picked them up because they had her name. They had everything else. So obviously, I'm not going to do that until I had possession of the vehicle that I'm, I actually have. Now, again, you know, I hope you guys keep your privacy uh, in check, especially when blabbing out VIN numbers and all sorts of things. Uh, the only reason I've, been, I've helped other people is I, I told them, if you don't want to give it to me, I can't help you, but I need your VIN number to be able to process it. Uh, without that, I can't do anything for obvious reasons. And they trusted me with it, and I immediately, when I told them their vehicle was done, I erased all the information off of my computer and emails, for their VIN number and you know, out of respect for them, I yeah. won't show the VIN numbers up here uh, or my VIN number, so. Yeah, when we do the pictures, we'll black out all our stuff. Um, so the steps that you wanna take is one, call your dealership and if you have a very good rapport with them like how we do and are not a Delta Bravo to your dealership, um, they will give you the container number. And once you get that container number, do the automated system for the railroad and find out where that container is and just be patient. Once you find out that it's been unloaded, you can go to whatever trucking and you can find out what trucking system they at the dealership as well, who they're underneath to contract with. Um, they should be able to tell you that if they use United Road Allied Systems or whatever. And um, once that gets off the train and onto the trucking side of it, that's where the site comes in or whoever's site comes in and just do that. Be respectful to the people on the other end. They don't have to help you. It is not their job. Yeah, it I'm is very, right they're now. very helpful to us and they didn't have to be. And I appreciate 
the hard work that they yeah. do. They do not have a lot of people. They do not have time to help every single person that calls them up. They just understood what we were doing and what this truck meant to us. And we, uh, we, yeah. they understood mm -hmm. that and contacted us very, very helpful. I, like I said, they didn't have to, the black diamonds, I actually just left it alone. Mm -hmm. Let and it do it, its thing. Okay, it let it do its thing. And I just checked uh, the uh, United Road. Again, United Road is the only one I have. This United Road is the only one I used to help other people. Yeah. So far, I've been able to help everybody with it. But, again, there there is areas out there where other people might use different things. Even the, even, you know, the one lady told me that a lot of times they'll unload it and it won't be for that. It'll be for a different rail company or a different trucking company. So yeah. again, be wary of that. If it doesn't show up in the United Road system, it's probably with a different trucking company. Yeah, and there's some independents that are also trying to help with you know getting cars out as well. So uh, just be patient. Yep. Please, you know, hope you enjoy this. Hope this is very helpful. Uh, it was helpful to us. It's how we found it. Uh, absolutely almost like a game at the end is trying to figure out when it's there is try to try to pick up your Bronco the day or see the day it gets delivered is actually astonishing um, seeing her truck get delivered <laughs> delivered off the vehicle is actually pretty badass uh, we'll link that video somewhere yeah anyways uh, please like subscribe hit the notification bell we do have a Giveaway at, Give 3, at 3,000 subscribers. subscribers. We are 212 away. subscribers away. So hurry please. up, people. Come on. As she says, hurry up. We want to give away something. Uh, it's a Archetype Racing tap or bam. We'll, we'll link One those. One or the other. Not we'll both. link those in the bottom, somewhere around here, probably over my face, <laughs> as she'll put it, because um, she wants to stay in picture. And then, uh, you know, we do have another video coming up for Buck Your Bronco and some items they have for the rail system too. Also their own rail system. Be a check out that. Okay. Yep. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.